Hi, I'm Rich Morris at Broodminder, and today I want to show you how to get your app going uh, with your Broodminder devices. So, uh, you want to get your phone or tablet and uh, go to the App Store. We'll do that. And then we'll search for Broodminder. Search. Broodminder. There it is. And when you do that, you'll see three apps actually. The one you want to pick is Broodminder, uh, or if it's an Android, you want to pick Broodminder Lite. Uh, we'll talk about the other two, but uh, we'll get this going. I'll do a download. And let's see how, how it does here this morning. There we go. Um, so uh, a couple other words, too. Uh, the most uh, All the iPhones work really well with the devices. Some of the older Android devices, uh, the Bluetooth, uh, took a while to get sorted out for them. So uh, you'll get the best results with newer uh, Android devices. Uh, one that I can recommend that's really inexpensive, you can get it Best Buy, is the Blue BLU uh, Vivo 5 Mini. Uh, it's a phone and you don't have to, it's unlocked, you don't have to buy a phone plan. You can just use it like a little miniature tablet if you want. So once we have it installed, uh, we want to do open. And there it comes, and we'll get a little congratulation message that says we're so smart for buying this. Uh, I'll also point out that it uh, sets the question mark in the upper right-hand corner. We'll give you more help if you want. Now, automatically, it will just go out and start looking for every Broodminder device it can find. So here it found four. Uh, so at the top is a temperature humidity device, 42.12.11, then a second temperature humidity device, which I've got here, 42.12.27, and a scale, uh, 43.09.82. The one on the bottom is the Broodminder cell, which is out in my apiary. Uh, let's see here. It's this thing right here. Whoops, if I can point at it. This thing right here. And that reads the devices automatically and pushes it up to uh, the web for me. So I don't have to use the app uh, and I can see data 24 7 uh, so we'll ignore that one uh, it basically just says hey that's there and it's running now what you can do is if you tap one of the pictures I'll do it on the top one here uh, you can go and assign a picture to it so I've got this uh, brushy mountain uh, garden hive I'll use a picture for that and if you touch the number then you can also give it a name instead of a number See here, there we go, and we'll call this top box because we'll put that uh, that one in the upper box of the uh, of the hive. Now, to collect, so it's showing us right now the current conditions uh, here in my artificial apiary: uh, 73 degrees, 39 percent relative humidity. Uh, the scale it has half a pound just because it uh, we calibrate it like that and uh, 73 degrees now we want to retrieve the data that's been uh, stored then we want to tap the black text of the device so I'll tap the 73 39 percent relative humidity and it brings up our graph screen so in this screen it will display the hour by hour data once we retrieve it from the device. And we do that by pushing the sync button in the bottom. Okay, <clears throat> and then it connects to the device. It's connected. Now it's retrieving the data. And I've had these running for about two days, I guess. So let's see how 91 samples. So about three days. So it brings that data back up to the phone. And here in just a few seconds, it'll display it in the graphs. Okay, there we go. Now, the buttons at the top, oh, well, first we want to do this. Uh, we want to sync with broodminder.com. <clears throat> this is where we store the public domain data. So if you sync with broodminder, mybroodminder.com, it will be available at becounted.org. Now, we only show it there with the zip code so they don't know exactly where your hives are. But this is, I of course want to do that, so I will say okay. And it's going to ask me for my Broodminder credentials. 
if you already have an account then you put that in here but I don't so I will put rich do 05 and you want to use an email account at broodminder dot com okay and I want to use a password so I'll use bees b e e s and hit OK. Now it will go out to my broodminder and say it's creating a new account. OK, and there it is, what I typed in. So I say yes, um, go ahead and do that. And so there it created the account. Now it's going to look for anything that's out there, which is nothing. So I'm going to put a new apiary, and I'll call this one Walnut Bank. No, let's call it Headquarters. H E A D, whoops, Q U A R T E R S. Okay, and a zip code for that 53589 here in Stoughton. Okay, so we created an apiary and we'll create a hive and we'll call this one. Now you only have to do this part once uh, because it'll remember it. And now we've added this device, this top box device, to that hive in my broodminder. And it says here at the bottom, the device was synchronized to hive one. So now the data is up on my broodminder. You can go there and log in with the same credentials. And you can see and change your data if you want to change the names of the hives or anything like that. You can do that all online. Um, and that data will also show up on uh, becounted.org. Okay, the other things you can do here just quickly is, you know, it, if you can pinch and zoom the graphs. Uh, if you want to look at you know, just the last 24 hours, you can push day or week or, or all. Um, it's a little nicer if you have a tablet just because the graphs are bigger and it's easier to, to move around. Uh, you also see a Hive Notes button. So if we wanted to add a Hive Note that said, uh, okay, we did, uh, let's just add Broodminder. I love my Broodminder. And it's a date and time at the top. And that will be when you go back, it'll say, do you want to save that note? And I say yes. And then it puts that note there. And that will also be transferred up to my Broodminder. So that's just a quick overview of what's going on. Uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you have any questions at all, don't hesitate to email to um, Mike. Uh, he's at support at broodminder.com. Uh, he loves helping people, and we really want your experience to be good. So uh, give us feedback. Uh, tell us anything that we you know, are doing right or wrong, and uh, we hope you enjoy your broodminders. Thanks.